So we just saw this sign for a talking dog for sale. So we stopped and we like asked the guy, we're like, hey, you mind if we ask your dog a few questions since it is a talking dog? And he's like, sure, go ahead. So we're like, hey, dog, tell us a little bit about yourself. And he's like, the dog is like, well, I've lived a full and wondrous life. I actually served a lot of time sniffing out cancer for early detection and I saved hundreds upon thousands of lives. And then I even spent a summer with Mother Teresa helping out the poor in South America. And we're like, wow, that's amazing. Why are you selling this dog, old man? And he said, cause that dog is a liar. These shopping carts are weird looking. I want to buy the happiest starfish in this entire store. It's you, you're the happiest starfish. This sunset's much better than yesterday's. At least it's not Alabama crazy tornado action. And the birds. I know I just talked about tornadoes the other day, but there's another one, it, like from, we were in Texas before, now we're in Alabama, like category five, F5 tornado, going crazy, ripping stuff up. Hope you guys are safe in Alabama. You guys ready? So wonderful. It's, it's at our local PO box or post office, and that is like the best place to sing is inside of that little hallway. Uh, I forgot which one's mine. This is my personal post office box. You guys don't get to know where this one is. You guys want to know something that really grinds my gears? If you stop in the fire lane of like a, a grocery store, in this case it was the, the post office, but it was too dark for me to show you guys. If you stop in a fire lane, jump out of your car, whereas it would actually be closer to park in a spot and get out, especially since every single parking spot in the entire parking lot is wide open. Don't park in the fire lane. There's no reason to do it. Just park in a parking spot. How hard is it to pull into the parking spot? Are you in that much of a hurry that you, have, you can't even put your car in reverse? Oh wait, maybe your car doesn't have reverse. That happened to my sister one time. Is that what just happened? Maybe the lady didn't have reverse. I feel bad now. So I wanted to ask you guys, I personally am a Harry Potter fan. I'm not a fanatic like a lot of people are where I haven't read the books. I've only seen most of the movies. I have not seen the last one. <clears throat> what the heck? <clears throat> I'm dying. I haven't seen the last one that was out in the theaters or the one that's coming up next. I want to try to see them both at the same time because that's like, that's the way that a real fan should do it. But I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not a real fan. I just haven't had the chance to see them yet. But I just saw the trailer for the second of the last movie, the second part of the last movie, and it looks amazing. Is anybody else like super excited to go see the new Harry Potter movie? Because I am. Like I'm excited to go spend like an entire day at the movie theater watching one and then the other. I think it's going to be amazing. I think I said amazing like ten times just then. Have you guys ever done this? I'm sure you guys can hear it in the background. I'm, I'm not peeing. I'm, I'm filling up the dog's water bowl and I have to clean it out before I fill it up because they come in with like sand on their face and then they go and drink and sand gets in the water. So I'm like, oh, let me clean out the water bowl. But have you guys ever done that? I'm using the sprayer in the sink and I'm like spraying it, spraying it. And then all of a sudden I spray myself on my shirt. You guys ever done that? No, I'm just not very good at spraying water. The next question, this is gonna be like a night full of questions for you guys. It was like that one time that we had 20 questions for me. This is gonna be like 20 questions for you guys. Uh, the next science experiment that I'm thinking about doing is making breakaway glass. Are you guys interested in anything like that? It's not really glass, it's sugar glass, so it's like made out of sugar. But it's gonna make a mess, I have a feeling. And there's like a lot of stuff that I need. So I need to hear you guys say, yes, Tim, thumbs up the video and tell me, yes, I wanna see you make sugar glass or breakaway glass. And I, I, I might even try to, I don't know if I have any old windows, but it would be pretty fun if I had an old window and I like put the breakaway glass into it and then like, punch through it be pretty awesome right but i don't think i have any old windows we'll figure something out if you guys thumbs up the video and tell me that you guys want to see me make breakaway glass or sugar glass we'll do something crazy with it like hit me over the head with it or something awesome this is exciting but it kind of stinks for uh, zach outback zach lost his twitter and his facebook page to some australian guy who calls himself outback zach that has like an animal show that he used to do but he doesn't do it anymore because he's like I, it's strange. Apparently he trademarked the name Outback Zach and just now found out that Outback Zach had his Twitter. But the weird thing is I looked at the Twitter and it was like this new Outback Zach TV personality, animal guy, tweeted today, but also 265 days ago. So almost like less than a year ago. 
but I can't find out if it's from the account that he's on now or from a different account? And if so, why would you take somebody's Twitter that has that many followers, especially if you're only going to tweet every 265 days? And apparently if you trademark, I hope I... Ugh, I might not want to say this. I'm going to say it anyways. I'll take the risk. If you trademark your name, like some of this Outback Zach guy trademarked the name Outback Zach, you can just go in and take anybody's Twitter. Like, just like, oh, hey, uh, I have this name trademarked, so you have to give me that Twitter account now. And Twitter's like, ooh, okay, here you go. No matter how many followers the person has that you're taking it away from. So, what's to stop me from, like, trademarking, oh, I don't know, Charlie Sheen? I'm just stealing, like, that account? This seems like it's going to turn into a little bit of a battle. I'm going to be honest, this sounds very scary. That was awesome. My Twitter feed just like blew up because we were talking about this. Good times, good times. Don't forget to hit the like button if you want me to make that sugar glass. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. Price.